Eres perfecta mujer De la cabeza a los pies Doesn't that look so good? I'm gonna try to make this tart. It's an artichoke tart from this French cookbook. I don't speak French, so I'm gonna use Google Translate to figure out what this is saying and try to make this gorgeous, yummy looking tart. So, wish me luck. Today, we just need six ingredients. Let me go grab those ingredients. Okay, I have all of my six ingredients and I'm gonna get an apron. So this is where I say I'm not the best cook. I want to learn to be a better cook because it really is my husband that does most of the cooking in our household. He's really good. I've learned a lot from him. I've learned a lot from my mom and I've really learned a lot through YouTube. Part of my goals for my 30th year is to have confidence in myself and to trust myself in the kitchen. Okay, the part that I'm most nervous about is the puff pastry. My husband is the one that typically makes anything with dough, but I'm gonna do it this time. Let's see, I have 100 grams of this cheese. That's 71 grams, 100. Time for the hardest part, in my opinion. I just washed this, now I need to unroll my dough. Oh, geez. Did I mess up? They messed up. Instructions are vague. Uh, I'm trying to like the lack of detail. Should I pre bake this? I think I need to pre bake this pork pastry, especially because I have doubled it up. I don't know if this is a good idea. Let's see. Essentially, I am weighing down the puff pastry with lentils. Gosh, I hope that works. Let's see. Do I place the pie directly? Let's see if this works. Okay, I'll clean up my station. While that is pre-baking, let's mix the egg and milk mixture. Should I have shredded this cheese? You know what? If this comes out well, I'd be really impressed with myself. Okay, that's pretty great. Great. And I think I need to get the pie crust. That's looking better. This might cook the eggs immediately. Wait, should I let this cool? I'm gonna let this cool. It says, coupes le Oh, no, no, I'm not even gonna try. I think it says cut the artichoke in two. Oh. Let's go on. Ladies and gentlemen, the importance of the right knife. Okay. I love snacking while I cook. I got these from Whole Foods, so might as well just enjoy these a little bit. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is just not gone well. Okay, so according to the instructions, put your mustard in and spread a thin layer. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm not using the right tool. Okay, better. Says, place the artichokes. Now, let's do the cheese. Should I do more? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wing it. Why not? Oh, 
Okay, I YOLO that. 25 minutes in the oven. Wish me luck. Okay, while we wait for the tart to completely finish cooking, I wanted to talk about this cookbook. I do really love cookbooks. I love looking at them, reading them. I wasn't very good and I felt really overwhelmed by just reading the book front to end. So I changed it up and the new tactic that I'm doing is I pick one and I pick three recipes and I'll tab them. And then I'm just gonna do those three recipes for that book. And it'll take me about a month or so to get through those three recipes. Once I finish that book and those three recipes, I close it and I switch it out for a different book. So this one I bought in France during our honeymoon last summer. Apparently this is a very OG classic French cookbook. So I bought the vegetarian version. It is completely in French, but I kind of love that. And I just have this idea that when I have kids later and I'll tell them, hey, like go pick that cookbook and they see it and they don't get overwhelmed that it's in a different language, that they feel comfortable enough navigating something unknown to them. And we have tools to figure out how to read something that we don't know. And also it helps us learn the language. This empty space where they should have maybe given me a little bit more guidance. I'm just gonna write in what I learned. I'll just show you very quickly. Lasagna, gnocchi, soups. Mm. And then this little thing I got on Amazon. It's become a staple in my kitchen where I place the cookbook that is in rotation for that month. Alrighty, let's see how much time we have left. Okay, Google, how much time is on my timer? Okay, in 10 minutes, we will see if we have a pie or not. This is the look of today. Apron all the way. It's not even mine, it's my husband's. He lets me borrow it. Hi, Uncle. I think I'm happy with that. Let's cool it off and then have a taste and see how that turned out. I'm pleasantly surprised with how it looks. The crust definitely looks homemade. Let's take a bite. I am also exceedingly lactose intolerant and this has a lot of dairy. Honestly, it, it looks like I've made a quiche and I don't love quiches. Mm. Not bad. Artichoke goes really well with these flavors. I think my pie dough on the bottom is a little doughy, so I should have pre-baked for longer. I am not mad about that. I think my husband's really gonna love that. Okay, my last step is to take some notes. Pre-bake dough. All right, so time to choose a new cookbook and put this one away. So that was better than I thought it would be. I have no idea what expectations you had going into this, but I'm very happy with that. I'm also really excited to continue cooking and seeing how my skills improve. So that wraps this video up. Really appreciate you sticking around. Thank you for watching. Bye. Ooh. We really shouldn't be chopping it in this. What do you mean? <laughs> to get it out of the mold so we don't damage the mold. So where does it go? On a, look. Okay. And you're supposed to put parchment on the bottom. There I am? Yes, you put a circle of parchment so you can just pull it off. Did you cook the uh, puff pastry through? I don't think so. I think because you put it on a tray. You put this on another baking tray. It was really thick. What? What? <laughs> oh, it was totally raw. Stop. You'll have to do this one again. So how's the flavor? Flavor's good. It's good though, it's got the base of like a good quiche. Yeah. It ends up being a quiche. Mm -hmm.
A little raw. <laughs>